All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Projects, Roman Numeral Converter. All right. So now we're going to convert the given number into a Roman numeral. So we've got a bunch of Roman numerals right here. We've got a bunch of Arabic numerals right here. And all Roman numeral answers should be provided in uppercase. All right. So the first time I did this, uh, what I did was something like this. I went, uh, I made just a bunch of if statements. I said something like this. If, well, first things first, let's say let a Roman numeral equal an empty string, okay? Because that's where we're going to put our M's and our CM's and all that stuff. Um, so what I did down here was I said, if, uh, if num is greater than or equal to 1,000, 1,000, how about that? Uh, did something like this. Let's say uh, Roman numeral, Roman numeral plus equals. And then the letter M like this, but we did not just that, but dot repeat. I don't know if we did repeat before, but dot repeat. And then repeat it how many times, however many times uh, over a thousand it is. So like, let's say it's uh, 3000, right? Let's say it's 36.09. How about that? Uh, what we wanted, what I wanted to do was something like this. Let's say uh, num divided by a thousand, a thousand, and then wrap this thing up in parentheses and say in front of that math dot floor. So it would round down, right? So if it would this, it'd be like m dot repeat uh, num divided by a thousand. So three, this divided by a thousand, and then round it down to just three, right? And if we wrap this in, uh, pardon me, if we come down here and say console dot log console dot log uh, Roman numeral, it would say something like this: m m m, and then. I went through the whole list and just kept doing that without, I mean, we don't have to do the repeats, but for, uh, what is it? But for this one, the I's and the uh, C's, but you know, it just went through the whole thing and it was very, very ugly. Let me put it like that. But there's a cooler way to do it. I found out, all right, after scouring the internet, uh, we can just make an array of arrays with this as the uh, with this as the first uh, uh, element and this is as the second element. So let's do that. We're going to say something like this. Let's let Roman list equal. And then we'll have an array like this. And then inside of it, we'll have a bunch of arrays and we'll set, start off with M comma 1000. All right. And then we'll do something after that. We'll do CM Oops, oops, oops. CM, comma, come on now, comma, 900. All right. And now I'm going to do a 3,000% uh, uh, speed up so that uh, we can get through this video a little bit quicker. All right. So give me a, I don't know, however many seconds, right? All right. So there it is right there. Uh, as you could see, there was like a pattern because it goes one, nine, five, four, one, nine, five, four, one, nine, five, four, one. So when you're uh, copying it out yourself, uh, just use that as the pattern. You can just uh, copy this, copy these four, drop them off and then copy the next four and then just delete zeros. But uh, you got to change up the uh, Roman numerals. That being said, now we've got this list. All right. So with this list in hand, what we're going to do is we're going to have a for loop and we're going to say for. Uh, then we'll say let i equals zero. Equals zero. While i is less than uh, Roman list dot length, we'll say i plus plus, right? So we're going to iterate through this thing right here, all right? So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to have another, we're going to have a uh, while loop inside of this. So, so we'll say while, while num is greater than or equal to uh, Roman list at i 
at zero, excuse me, at one. So while this number is greater than this right here, and then this, and then this going down the list, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, Roman numeral plus equals, and then we'll say uh, Roman numerals, excuse me, excuse me, Roman list, Roman list, at I, why am I doing this? Why don't I just take this? We're gonna take this, copy it, at I at zero, and then we're going to also say Roman, uh, no, we're gonna say num minus equals, and then we'll drop this right here, and then we'll take away, yeah, and then we'll take away uh, this amount, right? So. First, it's going to go to, hold on, M is not defined. M is not defined. Oh, don't forget to put all these in. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to put all these in uh, uh, quotes. Yeah, here's another 3,000. Give me a second. All right, and that's that. All right, so now it looks a little bit better. Uh, so now what we're going to do, let's wrap this thing up in parentheses. Let's say console.log, console, whoops, console.log. And down here, what we're gonna do is say return, return a Roman numeral. And we see right here, we've got M, 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 D, C, Y, well, anyway, we've got that. Uh, let's, let's change it to something a little bit easier. We can actually uh, understand 16, how about that? Ah, that's one, that's XVI, good old 16. All right, so it looks like the thing works. Uh, let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Did you guys understand what I did? Anyway. Oh man. <laughs> I don't want to redo all that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're just subtracting a thousand from like, we'll subtract the, the number from each uh, one and then we'll add the, the, the Roman numeral to the, to the uh, string. And that's what we'll just do over and over and over again. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, man, I, I really don't want to read. If you don't like this, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely redo it. But if you can, if you guys don't have a problem with it, uh, also let me know in the comments. Uh, other than that, now we're on to Caesar's Cipher. Looks like we've got a uh, Roman uh, pair right here, huh? And we'll see you next time.